Our top story tonight, striking back at the surge tonight, we're learning San Joaquin and Stanislaus counties will be the first in the Central Valley to get help from the state to slow the spread of the virus. Just two months ago, Stanislaus County had just 683 cases. Now the number has ballooned to more than 8,200 cases. San Joaquin County went from 842 to well over 10,000. The state is spending a whole bunch of money, $52 million, and sending coronavirus strike teams to fight the outbreak in the Central Valley. But what exactly is a strike team, and how will that money be spent? CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is getting answers for us tonight. She's live at the Capitol right now, and learning these counties aren't really sure either. Right, Marissa? Yeah, and the county leaders tonight telling us they're frustrated about this whole situation. The governor makes this big announcement announcing millions of dollars will be sent to these coronavirus hotspots. But will counties be able to, to decide where that money will be spent? And what about those strike teams? Tonight we're learning the state's plan is still being drafted. We've heard this term strike team for two days now really don't have an understanding of what exactly that means. CBS 13 received a draft copy of the state's plan to deploy federal and state unified support teams to eight counties identified as coronavirus hotspots. Stanislaus County Office of Emergency Management calls it a rough draft and vague. It says within the next week, the state will deploy state personnel to these counties to identify what's driving the transmission of the virus and who it's impacting. The plan says it will address the unique needs of every county, but leaders say the draft isn't clear if these strike teams will help with those needs. Two of the hospitals in our county have made requests for additional staffing, and that comes to the county office of emergency services and gets funneled up to the state and potentially to the federal government. It doesn't look like we're getting the uh, the nurses or the medical staff that we had specifically requested. In Stanislaus County, leaders say the concern is staffing at overwhelmed hospitals. They're also worried about delays in testing with results coming back between five and seven days. We're testing about a thousand people a day. That's just um, it's too long and we need a, a way to, to improve that. They also don't know how much of the $52 million they'll have access to and what they'll be allowed to spend it on. The draft does say the strike teams will talk to county leaders about lab testing, data management, contact tracing, and housing options for isolation and quarantine. Yeah, so the state pointing to Imperial County, one of the first counties identified to be a coronavirus hotspot. That's where these strike teams were sent in about four weeks ago. So do these strike teams work? How is Imperial County doing right now? We'll get those answers for you coming up at 6 o'clock.